So we have this pseudo historical fantasy anime and I like it. It starts with this brief little look at the past where this girl meets this other girl that's floating and glowing and sees like little sparkles flowing towards her. And it's probably pretty much guessable that she's the witch that the series is named after. It skips ahead to that same girl on a train. And they're traveling. It's now World War Two, or at least the beginning of World War Two. The Nazis are on the train looking for her and she's trying to flee. They flee across the train, being chased. We bump into this one kid or young adult who is a um, secret service or something and this other guy who appears to be in charge of the this coffin like device which we find has a girl in it that looks an awful like the girl from the opening the princess sees her is confused about what the coffin is doing there they jump off it after one and they get shot and they end up in the water jumping off the train up from the bridge and then make it to, to the capital area where they're trying to meet with Britain in order to broker a deal for Britain to help defend their country. Unfortunately, it's too late because Germany has already initiated the attack. They capture the princess, put her in a plane along with the coffin thing, and they threaten her. She's trying to defend herself. She's actually kind of brave, and I like her. In during all this is happening, those sparkly glowing, um, almost like cotton balls, are flowing towards the plane. The plane suddenly loses power. They manage to get it back into control, but the princess has got a gun. She can't fire it because she can't get the safety off. And this whole situation, and it's so interesting. And during all this, the witch slash girl in the coffin starts to wake up, realizes what's going on, recognizes the princess from the start of the film anime, and rescues her, causing the plane to explode, and then rides a machine gun like a broom to rescue her. And that's where it ends. I'm curious where this is going. I'm kind of hoping we get to see more of this. I'm kind of intrigued. Is this witch going to help save the, the country from war or is something else going to happen? I'm definitely intrigued and I can't wait to see where this goes. What about you guys? Do you like this series? Because this is one that's interesting. A sort of definite pseudo documentary on the way the war was. So I'm curious where this goes. Let me know what you think.